Hello, hello, boys and girls, auntie and uncle. Welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology. And I have just got my advanced open water here at Marble. Super excited. I was introduced to night dive for the first time. For my diving career, it was in the open water, advanced open water course that I did that I did the night dive for the very first time and I absolutely love it. I was so super wrong about night dive. There are hundreds, hundreds of things to see at night dive and today, this video, I am taking you with me to the night dives here at Marble and we're gonna experience night diving with pitch dark, pitch dark underwater environment. So super excited about this. I've got all my gears ready and hopefully I'll see many, many things I did not see during the day dive. And also stay tuned until the end of the video where I will be sharing with you tips for night diving. So by the way, my name is Prey Daily. Just call me Prey and this is Thomas, our DMT, time master training. Rescue oh. divers, eh? he's gonna join with us. So he's gonna be on my system. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do a night dives around here on the sandy area. So things to expect to see here. Some of the kind of animal is not very active during the daytime. Some of them is very active during the night time. They're nocturnal uh, animal. For example, catfish. Mm. Uh, catfish is nocturnal animal. So they're only coming out for during night time. And some uh, cuttlefish, a squid, but the big fin squid. I see a big fin squid like this long. It's big, it's easy to spot them. So, for example, like if you spot an egg of squid or the cuttlefish in radius 10 meters, there will be any squid or cuttlefish around. So, if you spot any of egg of uh, cuttlefish or the, or the squid, so just look around here, probably you will find them. Yeah. Time for this dive will be longer. Yay! <laughs> Yay! But it depends on our working assumption. Okay, let's say one of the divers is at low or nay. So the procedure is we will end the dive. But since I have my assistant here, so Thomas, he's gonna, he gonna bring the divers that have low or nay, come up to the surface and swim back to this jetty. Okay? How we're gonna enter the water? We're gonna slow down, go down from the stairs there. Okay, and exit at the same place. Yeah. Okay, using the stairs. Okay, so uh, because during night dive, dive, so we can't see anything without the torch light. We provide you the dive torch here, the waterproof dive torch, uh, torch light. In case you want to turn off your light, so do not turn off light completely. What I mean is just point to your hand or to your body. That is the night dive procedure. Okay, so. The moment you get into the water, put on your feet, put on your mask, turn on your light, we descend during all the time of dive. So 60 minute dive, 60, 70 minute dive, always turn on your light. So I bring a lot of uh, extra torch light here. Let's say you, you're out of battery, just let me know how to get my attention is just swim directly to me, tap on my shoulder, and pull my feet and point to your torch like if you have probably to touch i will change to another one okay so uh yes always monitoring your a so what i'm what to tell you guys so to monitor your a because this one will able to glow in the dark so what i mean is just point your light to your old spg a few seconds then it will glow it's easy for you to monitor your a okay and Monitor your air. My, my recommendation is to monitor your air every 15 to 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. So when I'm checking your air, so for this dark night dive, so I will directly to you, go to you, point to your uh, SPG. Mm. And then what you need to respond is you can choose either you, you show me your dead gauge or you tell me the amount of air you have. Signaling okay if I ask you okay or not. So like, it's okay, you mm. can touch to your finger. Mm. Okay, so how to reply? You can do the same. Oh, do like this. Okay, what else is hand signal for problem? Problem is like say, if I said to this, then you have problem, 
what signaling just pointing problem and pointing what you want what's your problem or you just do like this this is not a problem okay So I've done my night dive. It was absolutely fantastic. I have here with me Peggy, and Peggy's been with Scuba Dive, a uh, Scuba Junkie for four, four and a half years. Yes. So very experienced dive master. So Peggy, what is the tip you would give to diver diving at night? I would recommend you do it with either an instructor during your advanced course. Or with a dive master that you know, someone you can trust, and in an area that is easy and safe for night mm. for your first one. Mm. Um, so, so with a familiar dive uh, master that you have a good relationship with, yes. and a familiar, familiar um, environment. A hundred percent, because that will help to alleviate any anxiety that you might have. Because people start to feel anxious for night dive. It's new, it's different. It's dark. It's dark, you know. You want to be with someone you know. Mm. I would say in terms of how you dive, you have to be very careful with your buoyancy. Buoyancy also, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. careful because it's very easy to accidentally float. Float, yeah. Without realizing it's happening. Yeah. So take a dive computer, watch your depth. Ah. Right, because it's dark, you don't know how deep you are. Exactly. So have a computer, I think that's the third tip. Yes. And then watch your buoyancy, fourth tip. And then 
And my next tip would be, when night driving, be respectful for all the creatures in the ocean at night time. If you shine your torch directly in the eyes of some of these creatures, they don't have eyelids. They cannot close their eyes. Oh. You don't want to stun them or blind them. I didn't know fish cannot close their eyes. Some fish and some creatures, oh, some creatures close cannot. Their eyes to the right. right. So shine your torch to the side. You will oh. still be able to see the creature properly without damaging their eyes. Correct. So you will give you will be given a torchlight and um, there will be a briefing on how you're going to use the torchlight as well. Um, not only you can't shine directly at your uh, buddy's eye, but also on the fishes. So that's five tips from you, from Peggy, from Scuba Junkie, on safety for night dive. So do night dive because I, I really, I was very wrong because I never did night dive because I thought, what can I see? Like what? But like I saw so many things as you saw in this video. I saw so many things. It was so incredible. Night dives are amazing. I, I, that's what I was very wrong. Especially from our house reef. Yes, just so from the house reef. So many things to see already. So thank you for watching this video from Marvel and Scuba Junkie. Do night dive. And you can also watch some of the video that I've done for Scuba Junkie already. So you can watch that as well. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye from Scuba Junkie. Bye. Bye.